Alright, this is Etan Lurk, aka Nate Crow, back here doing uh, another Minecraft Pocket Edition. Uh, let's play as I test out my new screen recorder. I'm using Recordable, by the way, for Android. Comment down below if you've had any experience with that, or let me know what recorders you guys all use. Um, last episode we found all kinds of great stuff. I found Emerald, which is my favorite, and um, but I don't have an iron pickaxe to mine it. And I also found um, Silver Ore. I think I've probably got that smelting upstairs still. I should make some real stairs sometime soon, too. That would maybe be a fun thing to do as a time-lapse build project. So there's my silver ingot. I like it. And I'm going to put it... Um, I'm going to go make that fancy chest I was talking about. I'm going to go get some wood from my conveniently nearby freaking huge oak tree. Oh, I don't have sound on again. You need the sound to hear the mobs creep up on you. So, comment down below if I ever forget to put sound on. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to have to do here is uh, I'm into episode 4 of uh, this Let's Play of checking out my stream recorder. Um, and I'm going to have to get a YouTube channel. On that YouTube channel, I'll be hosting some other stuff too. Uh, Let's Plays with my son, Cohen. He's four. He's awesome. Uh, I think we're going to do some Let's Play with uh, Let's Play Minecraft uh, Pocket Edition with my wife, too. And she's pretty much never played Minecraft. She's just sort of like vaguely aware that me and, and Cohen are so into it. I don't know if she really gets it, but I, she's really curious about it. And I think she thinks she might be really into it. And like there's there's just there's so much you can do with Minecraft, right? I mean, you can do you can just craft stuff. You can just build houses. You can do it all agriculturally. You can all do it all about raising animals. You can do it all about sword fighting and killing monsters. You can do it all about building a pyramid like there's you know, those are just the most basic, easy to think of things that you can do with it, right? And uh, so I think she might get really into it, basically, is what I'm saying. Because I'm really into it, and my son is really into it. Uh, he's got, he comes up with a lot of great ideas for mods. Uh, the tree planter mod that I've got, that was actually his idea. And uh, maybe I'll show you guys a tree planter after this. There's no reason why not. It's all fully functioning, so I could do that. You load it up with uh, saplings or whatever you want. Uh, comment down below if you want to see um, more mods in this series, if you want to see me using mods and, and, and working with them. And uh, some of them aren't even downloaded, uh, downloadable yet because they're mods that I've made myself. Uh, and I'm just still kind of in the testing phase. Oh, what's up? I thought I got a tree sapling there. But, um, yeah, Cohen's a big help with my mods there, so I really appreciate that. Cohen will be home later today, and I think we're going to do uh, a Let's Play together. He uses his mom's tablet, and um, we get our we get our craft on that way. Okay, so make the chest. And this is going to be, like I say, for my not just, like, basic... I guess well, the first thing I do is I make, like, a a blocks chest and an items chest and then kind of further subdivide it or like nice items and like not so nice items which usually just turns out being like a stone chest and a not stone chest <laughs> um, so there gravel all this stuff can go back in and cobblestone and stone and I'm gonna shuffle this stuff around I kind of wish, this is one thing about Pocket Edition that is a bit of a hassle, is if you want to organize trunks, you got to do this, like, shuffle back and forth thing. Unless there's, like, another method that I'm not aware of, you guys can tell me. Comment down below, that would be sweet. Uh, I guess I'll put wood in here, too. Uh, yeah. And, okay, whatever, I'll just do the normal thing, like, stack the chests. No, I'll put them beside each other. Like this. I like stuff to not stick out too much from the wall. Okay. Chest down. Fancy stuff like ruby, silver, pipe, iron ingots, uh, gluten-free bread, almond milk, almonds, I can make some more gluten-free things now. Flint will go, uh, five blocks of wool will go egg, 
cool. I guess it's all going eventually. It's just kind of the order I want in here. Tree, I should go replant actually, so I'll keep that. Mm -hmm. Stick there. Oh yeah, cobble, cobble belongs in that one. No, not that one. <laughs> not that one. Not that one. Oh, is it raining? Am I having rain lag again? Yeah, I bet I am. So that's one thing I'm going to have to adjust here. I like the PE to PC mod, but I'm going to have to change the rain frequency. It's just too laggy. Toggle downfall. And magically, oh, the leg is gone. Funny how that works. Uh, so they're back in. What do I need here? I guess what I need to is, no. Um, iron. Iron is what I need. Iron is all I need. Just go get iron to get that emerald. There's so much to do. I don't know if I should shear that sheep. Okay, I should shear the sheep because you're just standing around there. And then... Okay. Perfect. Then I'm going to shear some tall grass. I'm going to clear this space all out actually so I can see a little better. This is totally OCD, ADD. No, I'm going to do this. No, I'm going to do this. No, I'm going to do this. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty good. Oh, sheep's got more wool. Shearing you. I like the new action buttons. They definitely make it easier. I sometimes get uh, really uh, superstitious and think like, oh, but maybe I'll get, it'll drop more wool if I really like shear it the hard way by holding the shears down on them. That's probably bogus though. But I have noticed that like sometimes it seems like I get more wool by holding the shears down instead of using the action button. Just saying. Just, just saying there. Uh, I may have just had my hand over the microphone. Uh, hopefully not. I feel like exploring right now. I'm a little, like, tired of that house I was in. I, I guess the main thing to do is get that emerald, and then that'll be my mission, I guess. I'm going to get that emerald out of the ground by finding some iron and making an iron pickaxe. Um, and then I'm going to go around and maybe do a bit of an explore. Huh? Sound good? Maybe the first thing I need to do here is make... Oh. Never mind. Never mind. And tall grass, you'll go in there. And dirt, you'll go in there. And almonds, I'll keep you in case I need to. Actually, I'll eat some right now. So the almonds from Gluten Free Craft can be eaten just by themselves to restore one heart. Or they can be crafted into almond milk and uh, gluten free bread and cookies and stuff to, uh, that all replenishes more than one heart. So, where did I find the iron originally? It was just here, right? So maybe I'll get lucky again. <laughs> That's not likely to happen. Oh yeah, I'll just find more of the same stuff in exactly the same spot again. But I mean, on this level. You know, the level was a good start. What is that? Copper? Copper is from Extended Craft. That's cool. I don't think it's going to help me get that emerald anymore, but um, it's nice. I'll be able to start making some, so with, yeah, it's copper. Uh, extended craft adds a bunch of machines to Minecraft. It adds like grinders and furnaces and extractors and stuff like that, uh, and solar panels. And uh, it's pretty great actually. Extended craft is fun. I love it. And uh, so mad props to the extended craft uh, mod creator, creators, whatever. And uh, apparently I'm going copper mining now. It's not what I'm planning on doing here at all, but sure. So the extended craft, they use a, a different ore generation technique than I do. It's uh, They made it nice and easy to find. Plenty of it. Plenty of it coming in big veins. And um, should I keep going this way? I just, like I say, I want to find iron to get that diamond pickaxe. So, um, 
yeah, comment down below if you guys have any ideas what you think I should be doing in this. If there's anywhere you want to see me go or any mods you want to see me use. Um, I think the main mods that you're going to see me using are going to be the Emerald Tools and Armor mod, the Smokecraft mod, stuff like that. Um, I use the Tent mod. Um, but if there's other stuff you think I should try or other mods you want me to download and, and kind of incorporate to my gaming experience, I, I'm, hey, I'm game. I like to try something new as long as they're good and they work well and they don't crash my phone and they don't suck. Um, I'll try it, sure, hey, whatever. Um, something I'm trying to uh, work on, and maybe I can talk about here while I'm doing this big, long, straight line mine, is I want to create some kind of a system. Oh, I broke my other pickaxe. Ba well, basically a system for um, allowing mod makers uh, to all you know, have their mods be compatible with one another, and uh, have, more importantly, have the textures not be like overlapping with one another. Um, because I've, that was one of the biggest things is when you start using lots of mods and if some of them use custom textures, well, you can only use one texture pack at a time, which is which is kind of a bummer. Uh, well, we're going to smelt up some of this copper into copper ingots. Yeah, you can only do uh, one texture pack at a time, and, you know, sometimes mods you need more than one texture pack on at the same time. So what I've done is I've, like, cut and pasted and, like, hacked apart... Um, other people's texture packs and incorporated them into mine. So, like, I've got this Frankenstein patchwork texture pack that would only work on my phone and for the selection of mods that I've got. Um, and I've also gone and, and modified everyone's mod to be, um, uh, you have different ID numbers or, or whatever, so they work. And I can have, like, 20 different mods all working collectively with the same texture pack and not have um, the IDs conflict or the textures conflict or anything like that. Um, but it's so much work and I'm running out of room on uh, the items uh, PNG and the terrain PNG to add new stuff. And I'm sure something is in the works to make this happen. Um, block launcher, if, if you can hear me there. Uh, 500 ISE, uh, Mr. Arm, if you can hear, if you've got any ideas here. We need some way to make unified, incorporated texture packs and mod packs and have them all work together. And that's my little rant for there. And I left it on the smelting screen so you guys could see that it wasn't just frozen while I was talking there. Um, but I went and I, I mined myself right out of um, right out of pickaxes again. So here we go. I'm going to crafty craft up some more. And... Um, yeah, the main purpose of this whole episode is to get that emerald out of the wall. I'm just going to go nuts with stone pickaxes here. And uh, I need iron to get out the emerald. And I think it's time to get a double staircase here. I need the iron to get the emerald out. And uh, it's not coming. I'm not finding the iron. So... Yeah, like I, like I said in one of the last videos, Emerald is, is one of my favorite, uh, you know, things there is in Minecraft. And I was really stoked that it finally made it from uh, PC to Pocket Edition. Um, that was one of the first experiences I had in the, the modding community and the texture pack creating community was making an Emerald texture pack. Because I was just like, ah, Pocket Edition doesn't have Emerald. That's just, that's not fair. So I made, a, I made a texture pack that replaced the diamond with emerald. I made one of those irritating things. And lots and lots of people have made texture packs like that. And it's a really like great first start to getting into texturing, just like replacing one thing with another. Uh, but it, it wasn't enough. And then I started wanting to make like custom tools and discover that you could do uh, replace the chain armor with one other kind of armor, whatever you want. And, um, I just started learning more and more about it. And there still just was not emeralds in the game the way I wanted there to be so I decided well if no one else has done this I'm gonna have to do this and so I started learning about mods and JavaScript and this whole thing uh, just so I could put emeralds into the game for myself and you know made the emerald craft mod which added you know back in the 8.1 days before there was emerald uh, added emerald spawning and emerald generating and emerald blocks into the game and also added at the same time all the emerald tools and stuff like that and the emerald armor um, and definitely kind of got me you know got me into this whole content creating and, and modding that I'm doing now and uh, and one thing I, I, I kind of wish now is that um, you could add more stuff and and it was it was easier to add more stuff. I'm kind of losing my train of thought here. I'm going. I'm, it's getting a little disjointed, and uh, 
I just, I just want to find some iron. And I think I should probably take uh, another little break here, like a real break, and come back to this in a bit. And, um, yeah, maybe that's what I need to do. Um, because I'm just, like, looking around in vain for iron. The other thing I could do, I suppose, is I've got the mini-map mod, which shows ores. So I'll keep going until the end of this episode. And if I still don't find iron by the end of this episode, whenever that is, whatever that turns out to be, I will turn on the mini-map, which I view as, like, a pretty big cheat because it just shows you where ore is. And, um, yeah, I'll show you mini-map pocket edition and how I get ores that way. And, uh... We'll find us some iron one way or the other and get that darn emerald out. But uh, I don't even know how long this recording's been going. It's been just another mining episode, so maybe uh, some of this needs to be time-lapsed for you guys. Oh, gravel. Forget it. I just turn around when I see gravel, usually. Iron! I walked right over some. Was that a little bit of a loud yell? That was probably not necessary. Oh, yeah, more than one piece. Sweet, 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 sweet coal while I'm here, because, like, you know, coal's a good time. You need coal to smelt the iron. Is that it? Is that all I get? I mean, I'm not being ungrateful, but there's just, you know, sometimes the ores can twist and turn in a vein, and, and there's more just beside the wall that you don't see, so. Come on, more. I'm not thinking there is. Yes, maybe. Well, that's pretty good there. So, hey, I got the iron that I was looking for, so that means here's what's going to happen. We're going to get, <laughs> go up to the top, smelt the iron ore into an ingot, make the iron pickaxe, harvest the emerald. Oh, I guess we can go back down to the bottom, bottom level and harvest that diamond cluster we found and see how much is in there. Um, I should leave a torch here so we don't get any monsters. Not two torches, just one. Just one there, leg. Just one is all we need, Mr. Leg. Uh-huh. Talking to my leg. You know you're a solo Let's Play guy when you start talking to the leg in your game. Okay, there we go. Up the stairs we go. Oh, I guess I'll have a bunch of copper done waiting for me. So nice to come home from a long day of mining and have a hot stove full of copper just waiting for you. Oh, zombie. Time to sleep. Psych. This episode will never end. Zombie's not liking the dying. Okay, so there I got, um, got my iron ingots. I ingot them for myself. Drop me any cool stuff. Is that unwise? Is it unwise to go outside right now? Well, I must have a creeper, I guess, huh? So I have not spent very much of this game outside at all, huh? There's a family of cows living here now, that's news. Oh yeah, there's my shears. Shear. I'm gonna have so much wool after that. I'm gonna carpet everything in black wool. Ooh, that'll be nice. Black wool carpet everywhere. Okay, four ingots there. One more copper in. Okay, so you know it's... Oh, iron pickaxe time! Favorite time of the day. Month. Year. Whatever. Oh, iron pickaxe! You're gonna help me mine that emerald out of the wall. It will be sweet. Come on down. I'm gonna get this emerald. Then I'm going to go further down and get the diamond, because, again, iron pickaxe. Where's the next one going? Got all these little stops along the way. Oh, I'd like to double-wide this whole staircase. I really do like that tendency that Bebop Box has of double-widing the stairs. Okay, emerald! Uh, sala malahala malaho! Okay, I got it. Those are the magic emerald words that I came up with just now. I hope no one found them offensive. They weren't meant to be offensive. They're just some kind of random sounds. Diamond. Boom. Diamond. Boom. Diamond. Oh, there's more. Oh, I love it. There's so much diamond here. Oh, yeah. Ha ha. King of diamonds. 
That should be my Minecraft name, King of Diamonds. That's way better than Etan Lurk. Just a lurker. I'm just a lurker. Just lurking for somewhere to lurk. Lurking around. Etan Lurk is just my name spelled backwards, by the way. It's not Lurk like L-U-R-K. It's L-L-E-R-K. Ah, forget it. L-L-E-R-K. My name spelled backwards. Happens to spell Lurk. Sound like Lurk. It's kind of like maybe a Welsh lurk, because it's got the double L sound there. Oh, redstone, I got you now that I've got an iron pickaxe. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah, that's that enjoyable popping sound that mining in this game go comes with. And, oh yeah, this, <laughs> this place. Lava world. I feel like going this way through lava world. I'm just going to see if I find anything else crazy. I'm going to give myself like 10 or 20 seconds. And uh, if nothing else crazy comes up, I'll go put the stuff in the chest and take a little break and uh, come back and do another episode later. Ah, there we go. Just like I said, found some diamond. I knew I should keep going. Never give up just when you've, you've got this gut feeling that like there's going to be something right there. Because now this has turned into a really excellent start of a game. I'm diamond loaded this is this is all right oh and a bit more a bit more iron just to round it all out that's pretty good oh perfect i'll be able to get me some uh all kinds of stuff now i'll be able to do um well i've got my shears so i'll be able to do well armor i guess is the next big thing bring more good stuff up here i guess another another iron pickaxe is probably the first primary thing because because if I find more diamonds and I can't mine them because I broke my iron pickaxe by getting all this stone right now, that would be a bit of a bummer. So. Oh, bedrock, huh? Mm. I just got a good feeling about this area. I don't want to break out of gravel. Gravel makes me quit. Gravel makes me want to quit. That's it. Torch goes up. You may wonder why there's little blue flecks of lava shooting up. That's because in the PC to PE mod, that's how they accomplished the rain effect, is by replacing the lava particles with rain particles, and then just calling the lava slash rain particles into the overworld atmosphere. So, oh look, it's lagging. That must mean the rain is on as we speak. So... Toggle downfall. I'll toggle the downfall of that rain. Maybe that's what they mean. Like, the downfall means it's when the rain stops. It's not supposed to be toggle downpour, like, turn on and off the downpour. It's supposed to be toggle downfall, like, orchestrate the collapse of the rain. Um, that'll maybe have to be something else I do in the break here is turn off that part of PE to PC, and by turn off I mean go in and I actually have to edit it and probably just remove the code, which is kind of a bummer, because uh, it's a lot of work, so I might just leave it on actually. Now that I hear myself say that, I might actually just leave it on because that would be easier. But we're going back up and we're going to take a break and we're going to put our stuff in the chest and we're going to look at all the pretty stuff we've collected and it's going to be amazing. And then, uh, when we come back, we're going to do some more uh, Let's Play of Nate testing out his uh, new screen recorder. Um, so as we climb up the stairs here, I'll just thank you guys again for watching and uh, remind you to uh, like, subscribe, and comment down below. I will have a YouTube channel for this eventually. And, um, yeah, I look forward to doing some more of these. If there's anything you want to see, any mods specifically that you want to see how they work, uh, comment down below, uh, leave me a message, and let me know what you want to see happening in this uh, pretty pretty good series so far. Because, like, look at this. I'm going to put all the best stuff at the top. That's a pretty good Minecraft start there, hey? Like, I'm going to organize this to be, a, my, like I say, the good chest. And um, so much good stuff just right from pretty early on, uh, including a lot of good wool there now and coal I want to put all the ingots together because I'm like that 
must put all the ingots together because I'm like that. Okay, I'm gonna go diamond first, then redstone, diamond, then yeah, redstone, then emerald, then ruby, then I'm gonna put the silver ingot in between there. See, that's the thing about pocket edition that's that's so frustrating is is like organizing these chests like I'm trying to do right now. Sticks, I guess, will go there, and oh yeah, flint is the other thing that can go there, and then our pipe goes there, and our food things like the gluten-free bread and the almond milk and the almonds themselves are they're all going to go there actually put the pipe down in the bottom row and uh okay so almonds over there and pipe down to the bottom row and the rest of this stuff can pretty much go into the supplies one which means like stone stone uh wood planks will do stone and then later i can organize this a little bit more and break it down into some some better some better chest organizing and oh i've got caw iron that needs to be fired that's right so let's do that up mm -hmm. iron on the go so that's cool because i'll have what six iron ingots then uh seven should put it in the furnace if i want it smelted i guess <laughs> I'm not gonna smelt while it's in my pocket. That just would be weird. Call me hot pockets. Smelty pockets. Don't call me smelty pockets. Don't call me smelty pockets. Uh, I told you before. Uh... Okay, it's definitely time for me to take a break. I'm not even making any sense anymore. This is ludicrous. Um. I want all the iron ingots in the chest, though, because I'm like that. Oh, sick. So there we go. That's a pretty good start to Minecraft there. Hey, I got ten diamonds. I got enough to make a diamond block if I want. So ten diamonds, some redstone. I got me an emerald, and they're rare. They're my favorite thing. I got a ruby from my uh, element craft. I got some copper from extended craft. I got a silver ingot there from also from my extended craft, or element craft. Uh, 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 iron ore, so many different ores now, iron ingot, I've got gluten-free bread and almonds and gluten-free milk, and I've got a pipe, <gasps> I know what I'm going to do, here's how we're going to finish this off, we're going to show you how smoke craft works, so there's this weird thing in smoke craft where it doesn't work, okay, so um, I've made the pipe uh, into a food item, so what I'm going to do now is craft um, I've got the pipe, and then uh, the pipe is just an item, and then you craft it with grass to pack a bowl, and I'm going to do that twice, so I've got two packed pipes now in my inventory, two packed pipes, and then you take the packed pipe, and you can either uh, touch it on a torch to light it, and it says spark to bowl, or you can just craft it with a torch in the inventory, but you lose a torch that way to do it, so I'm going to do the other one spark to bowl. Now I'm going to show you how this one works, how this mod works. Um, there is two things that need to make it work. So after you craft those things, you need to A, you need to be down a little bit of uh, health because the, um, what I did there is I made um, a lit pipe and also there's a lit joint that I haven't crafted yet and I'm trying to make myself drown. By the way, I'm trying to lose hearts through drowning. So, um, turn on this volume a bit, a little splashy loud. Um, so, you need to have your hearts down a bit. That's enough. That'll be good there. And um, you also need to um, have more than one in your hot bar when you use it. Because uh, it's a food item, so you've got to have hearts down to use it, and you've got to have more than one, a.k.a. two, when you use it. Now, this lit pipe will give you um, some of the effects of cannabis now in Minecraft after making this pipe, crafting it, and uh, you know getting some grass and packing the bowl. Uh, you pack the bowl with the grass, and you get this uh, lit pipe. And when I go eat, it's hopefully going to change my vision, but also the render speed of the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go look at something so you can really see the effects of that good. So here's this cow walking around. I am hopefully going to eat this, and it's going to make my... Render distance change to be closer and give me like tunnel vision so I really focus on what I'm looking at and it'll slow everything down a bit. So here we go. Yeah. You also saw some smoke particles right in front of me there. 
Now the cow is moving slow and the duck's moving slow. And you can also see my render distance is all messed up. Look, look at how I move through the world now. So this is kind of, this is what happens after you do smoke craft. You put the grass in the pipe and you light it and you use it and then this happens and it's a temporary effect. It doesn't last. Don't worry. Don't worry. It doesn't last. We'll be back to normal pretty soon here. And uh, of course the volume's kind of low because it was so loud from swimming. In a bit, it's gonna, your vision's going to pop. You'll get full render distance back or full field of vision back. I said render distance, but I meant field of vision. And the animals will start moving their normal speed, and you'll start moving. Oh, you can, your mining is slower too, see? It's like, oh, slow mining. Oh, I'm back. Back to normal. Animals, yeah, so you notice too that like your hot bar, um, it changes too, right? So um, you, 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 you can't see the hot bar and other stuff after you, you're you in the high effect mode. So that was, there we go, that was smoke craft. And that'll be the end of that episode. I'm going to put this lit pipe back in my chest of stuff here. And there's a bit of a bug where I now have three other pipes in my inventory. But I'm not complaining. I'll have to look into that. And uh, yeah, so we got a bit, of, a bit of smoke craft going on there. And uh, thank you guys for uh, watching. Make sure to uh, uh, comment, subscribe, uh, and like, all that good stuff. And uh, see you guys next time.